do people know what muscadine are in this part of the country? Uh, it's a, kind of a weird looking berry that where I'm from, you can just pick them from the road, from the side of the road. But you know, I, they'll probably sell them in Whole Foods in Pittsburgh. Nearby. But they're, it's a cheap little berry, so that's what the muscadine is. The deer. Outside Pataskala, I saw the deer with the soft white belly. The deer with two eyes as blind as holes. I saw it leap from a bush beside the highway as if a moment before it leapt, it had been a bush beside the highway. And I saw how if I wished it, I could be the deer, a creature bony as a branch in spring. And when I closed my eyes, I found the scent of muscadine. The berry my mother plucked Sundays from the roadside where fumes toughened its speckled skin and seed slept suspended in a mucus thick as the sleep of an embryo. It is the ugliest berry along the road, but chewed, it reminded me of speed. And I saw when I was the deer that I didn't have to be a deer. I could become a machine with a woman inside it, moving at a speed that leaves a stain on the breeze and on the muscadine's flesh, which is almost meat, the sweet pulp a muscadine leaves when it's crushed in the teeth of a deer, or a mother for that matter, or her child, waiting with something like shame to be fed a berry uglier than shame. Though it is not like this for the deer, it is not shame because the deer is not human. It is only almost human when it looks on the road and leaps, covering at least 30 feet in a blink, the deer I cannot be, the dumb deer, dumb and foolish enough to ignore anything that runs but is not alive, a trafficking machine filled with a distracted mind and body, deadly and durable enough to deconstruct the deer when it leaps, I'm telling you, like someone being chased. I remember a friend told me how when he was eight or nine, a half-naked woman ran to the car window crying her man was after her with a knife. But his mother locked the doors and sped away. Someone tell him his mother was not a coward. That's what he thinks. Tell him it was because he and his little brother were in the car that she would not let the troubled world inside. It was no one's fault. The mind separated from the body. I could almost see the holes of her eyes, the white fuzz on her tongue, the raised bud soft as a bed of pink seeds, the hole of a mouth stretched wide enough to hold a whole baby inside. I could almost see its eyes at the back of her throat. I could definitely hear its cries.